What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna make the Bramble two ways. We're gonna make the classic version and we also gonna give it a little truffles on a rocks treatment. Cause I think it's always fun to take an already wonderful drink and try to take it up a notch. That's also gonna be the perfect occasion for me to share with you my homemade blackberry liqueur, which is actually super cheap to make and in my opinion, oh so tastier than the commercial stuff. But that's my opinion. If you wanna be the judge, you know what to do. Watch the video and give it a try. So if you guys are ready, let's make some brambles together right now. So the Bramble was created by Dick Bradsells in London in 1984, which makes it a modern classic. Bradsells is also responsible for other modern classics, such as the Espresso Martini. So sir, thank you very much for your contribution to mixology. Basically, the Bramble is a blackberry gin fix. Gin, lemon, sugar, and blackberry liqueur served over crushed ice. In its simplicity, it is just a masterpiece. The flavors work perfectly together. It is beautiful and extremely simple to make. So as I said today, we're going to make the classic version. We're going to make an elevated version of it, which I think is really fun. And we're going to make a homemade blackberry liqueur. What I like to do when I make liqueurs is to craft it around the spirit I'm going to use it with. In this case, today's video is brought to you by Empress 1908. So I'm going to make the liqueur according to the botanicals in Empress to make all the flavors pop. I'm going to add two ingredients to it. But if you want to make a generic blackberry liqueur, simply take out these two ingredients of the equation. Also, the recipe is going to yield about 1.2 two liters of liqueur. So if you want to make a smaller batch, you simply divide all the ingredients by the same ratio. So we're going to start with the liquor. What you're going to need for the ingredients is first 400 grams of fresh blackberries, 375 ml of semi-bold red wine, 375 ml of vodka, 350 grams of sugar, 7 grams of dried juniper berries, and two pinches of rose petals. This for the rose petal, I eyeball it because it's so light, it's really hard to wait. First, with a mortar and pestle, you're gonna crack your juniper berries. Then in a sous vide bag, you're gonna add your blackberries and you're gonna press on them to crush them lightly. After, you're gonna add all the ingredients, seal the bag and place it in your water bath set at 65 degrees Celsius for two hours. After two hours, all you have to do is to fine strain this through a very fine mesh strainer. You can leave it filtering by itself, but that's gonna take a little while. If you wanna speed up the process, just use a spoon. Then all you have to do is to bottle it. And this is how I make, as simple as that, my juniper and rose petal blackberry liqueur to pair with Empress 1908. Speaking of Empress, you probably heard me say that before on the channel. It's a small batch copper pot steel gin made in Victoria, BC in Canada. And it's made out of eight different botanicals. Juniper berries, obviously, some rose petals, hence the choice of botanicals in my blackberry liqueur. There's also ginger, coriander seeds, grapefruit peel, cinnamon, a tea blend from the Empress Hotel in Victoria. And the gin, after the distillation, is infused for 24 hours with butterfly pea tea, which gives the gin its signature indigo color Color, a slightly earthy note and it also changes color when you change the pH of the gin, going from its beautiful indigo blue to a vibrant pink color. Overall, Empress is a beautiful, versatile and super balanced gin, perfect for all your gin cocktails. So if you want to know more about Empress or if you want to grab a bottle for yourself, as usual, I'm going to link their website in the description and pin comment below. So now let's make the bramble. What you're going to need is Empress blackberry liqueur, simple syrup, and lemon juice. To make the cocktail, we're gonna start in a cocktail shaker with two ounces of our Empress Gin, followed by three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice, and half an ounce of simple syrup. And then this cocktail is served over crushed ice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna whip shake it with a small scoop of crushed ice to start the dilution and to chill it down. We're gonna open pour everything in a double rice glass. We're gonna fill the glass with more crushed ice. And then we're gonna float on top half an ounce of our blackberry liqueur. Gonna garnish this with a beautiful fresh blackberry on a pick. 
And I also like to add a lemon wheel, just like that. And there I have it, my friends, the classic bramble. Cheers. Mm. This is a wonderful cocktail, extremely refreshing and actually quite dangerous because it goes down really easily. For me, the star of the show in a bramble is the gin. We get up front the beautiful botanicals, but then it's perfectly balanced and rounded up by the acidity, sweetness and blackberry flavors. It's simply delicious. It tastes like a slush for grown-ups. It's beautiful, super simple to make. So as I said in the intro, in its simplicity, it is a masterpiece because how delicious and simple it is at the same time. So how can we take this and make it even cooler? Well, I had this idea to separate the drink from the float. And to do that, we're going to need to make a foam, a blackberry foam. So let's do it. First, in a blender, we're going to add 125 grams of our blackberry liquor. Then we're going to add 115 grams of water, 15 grams of honey, 2 grams of citric acid, 0.5 grams of xanthan gum, which is going to act as a stabilizer for the foam not to separate, and 1.5 grams of methyl cellulose, which also going to act as a stabilizer, but also as an emulsifier. Then you're going to blend out at high speed for about 30 seconds and pour a mixture in your cream whipper. Then you're going to charge it with one NO2 cartridge, shake it for about 10 seconds, and charge it another time with another NO2 cartridge. Shake it once again for a couple of seconds and place it in the fridge for about one hour before using it. That's gonna make enough foam for about 10 cocktails and I recommend you use it within three days. Now, if you don't wanna use methyl cellulose, if you don't have it, but still wanna make this recipe, you can totally do that with egg whites instead. So use two egg whites instead of the methyl cellulose and don't blend the mixture, just pour everything in the cream whipper, give it a good shake and that's gonna work perfectly. Now for the cocktail itself, we're also going to use Empress 1908 Gin, Saint Germain Elderflower Liquor, Simple Syrup, Blackberry Liquor, Lemon, and of course our foam for the garnish. Now let's build. Once again in a shaker, two ounces of Empress Gin, three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice, half an ounce of the elderflower liquor and a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. Now we're going to fill our shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. In order to help the foam to stay at the surface of the cocktail rather to sinking down, we're gonna pour the cocktail over a big block of clear ice. Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about where I source my clear ice and my crushed ice. I'm simply super lucky. At my local grocery store, I have access to perfect pebble ice bags for one euro, but they're not always available. So when they're not, I simply crush the ice myself with a Louis bag and a Mayet. So if you want one, I'm gonna link mine in the description below. And for the clear ice I've been using for the past couple of months my countertop clear ice maker which I love so once again I'm gonna link that in the description below now let's string that cocktail over that big block of ice now let's add the foam I always recommend you give it a quick shake like this before and then we're gonna top it with the foam and there you have it the Bramble 2.0 cheers Hmm, that's so good. The elderflower liquor in the cocktail makes the floral notes of the Empress and the rose petals in the blackberry liquor pop. It works really nicely together. If you don't want to use the rose petals and the juniper berries in your homemade blackberry liquor, or if you're using a store bought, still try it with the elderflower liquor. It is exquisite. And now what I really love about this cocktail is the float, the foam is really separated from the cocktail. I always question myself when I see a cocktail with a float, if it's really necessary or if it makes a difference compared to if it was shaken 
in the cocktail. But here, because we have the float on top, we get that blackberry and juniper flavor up front with a hint of floral notes because of the rose petals. And then we get that beautiful acidity, sourness, and botanicals from the gin that coming from underneath. I think it works really nicely. It looks beautiful. It tastes great. I love it. I hope you're gonna love it too. So my friends, this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you go. To turn that bell if you want to make sure not to miss the next one. Don't forget to pay Empress a visit on their website. My friends, once again, this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Mm.